It's an exciting time here on Fox Business. We have Julia Stewart with us, the chairman and CEO of Dine Equity joining us today, and Applebee's and IHOP, the International House of Pancakes, under that umbrella. And why are you here at the New York Stock Exchange today? This past Monday, we just opened up every Applebee's in America now has hand-cut steaks and wood-fired grills. Mm -hmm. So we literally announced it on Monday. We're advertising throughout the United States. This is the way to begin changing the story about Applebee's. Yeah, we see the wood chips here, Julia. So, Absolutely. And they smell good, too. <laughs> You're talking about prime meats, USDA prime meats, and this will separate you from the noise and the other casual diners in some way? How right. so? Right. So two things. One is it's a USDA choice cut steak, and literally that new specification, which is a big uptick for us at Applebee's, mm -hmm. and then literally having meat cutters in the back of each Applebee's restaurant right. hand cutting. Can people see that? Or no. It's in the back? Okay, but, but it's they know knowing, they're getting the best meat. Right. They're right. getting the best meat. And then literally that smoky, wonderful flavor that they're they're literally trying not yeah. just steaks, but chicken and fish and pork chop. Over 40% right. of the menu will now be impacted by this great flavor. How do you deal with the economy? I saw that sales did slip in the latest quarter for Applebee's, and uh, Applebee's was down, same store sales down 3.7%. IHOP was higher by 1.5%. I know that there's fluctuations. What is your vision going forward for sales and the economy? So for us, it's all about, on the Applebee's side, it's all about changing that story. It takes time, it doesn't happen overnight, but you begin to see a change in the trajectory. People come in, they try it, they want to come more often. And people who haven't been in a long time right. will literally say, wow, there's something different going on. How about on. the check, how much people, sometimes you see uh, the economy reflected in the check, right? So maybe they'll come out to dinner, but they won't get a dessert. Are you seeing anything like that? Not really. For us, I always say to people, that people at, at Applebee's, the guest wants a $30 guest experience for $13.75, right. which is our average check. Right, right. So our price value at Applebee's is probably some of the best in the entire category. I wanted to talk about uh, something that is obviously, that is affecting all businesses, and this is about federal overtime, the regulation that you're going to be facing for the many workers that you have under your umbrella. How do you think that you're going to handle that? So I think I've mentioned to you, we are 99.9% .9 franchise. So what we're really going to focus on for the balance of this year, because it goes into effect, as you know, uh, at the end of the year, mm -hmm. we're really going to focus on the things that we can control or tools, strategies that our franchisees can employ to try to help offset this notion of overtime ruling. So overtime regulation is hard for businesses, is that? Absolutely. Why? Absolutely. Because literally all of a sudden what constitutes overtime and a manager, an assistant manager, literally that, that, um, that term literally is suddenly now uh, stricter and it creates a whole nother subset of people who literally now have to be put on, an, on a schedule okay. as opposed to just making a salary. You've been in this role for 15 years and uh, so I wanted to ask you also about when you look at these two companies in your heart, I mean, what do you think about them each day? I guess for me, and what drives yeah, you continuing it, it's forward? It's just we are the only restaurant company in America that has two number one brands: IHOP and Family yes. Dining, Applebee's and Casual Dining. So it's an honor and a privilege to be part of that. But I think we're looking forward, and our big focus is all about innovation and helping our franchisees to drive the top line and make more profit. Expansion plans? Absolutely. Any? We're looking at acquisition. I've been very public that we'll look for something not in a hurry. An acquisition of another type of casual dining. Mm, think of us as probably going in the opposite direction, something not in casual dining and not in family. I'd love to be number one of a third category. A third category? Oh, I can't wait to hear what it is. That's actually, you really teased us with that one. And uh, last but not least, I wanted to note the, the philanthropy part. Something that I think a lot of our viewers would like is the uh, Veterans Day. Applebee's has thank you movement. Veterans and active duty military can get a free meal. That's one of your many uh, moments of charity, but that is a great one. Tell us why the veterans are near and dear to your heart. Um, well, I, I come from a long line of veterans, and my dad uh, was uh, obviously a veteran, and, and many others. That I, but for me, it's all about saying thank you to the real heroes, 
of this nation, which is people who literally risk their lives for this country. So I take it very seriously. It's the number one day of the year at Applebee's. Okay. We're making a difference. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, I hope you do come back, Julia, when you start to consider your acquisition. You talked about a whole nother area. <laughs> so we want to hear more about that one. Julia Stewart, Chairman and CEO of Dine Equity. We thank Thanks. you for coming on Thank Fox you. Business with us today. Thank and congratulations you. for being here at the New York Stock Exchange. Thank Great so to much. see you. Thank Thanks. you very much.